What's up everyone, Caesar here. Uh, this, is, this is the first uh, video on this channel and here we're going to be talking about uh, folklore and monsters and ghosts in a very weird and, and different way, I promise. Uh, we're going to be talking about some really obscure things that none, none of you have ever uh, heard of and some guys that everybody knows about. Some even are, are going to be entirely made up by myself. So, I hope you enjoy. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the monster under your bed. Now, the first thing we need to understand about this guy is what is it? And we don't know, nobody knows. You, you see, when we're talking about Dracula, it's, it's vampires. When you're talking about the werewolf or werebears or whatever, it's lycanthropes. When we are talking about the, uh, the lich or uh, the mummy, it's the undead. But with the monster under the bed, it's an entirely different thing. It's a whole different beast. We don't know what it is. Um, some, mostly in, in you know North America, we see it as some sort of boogeyman. You know, as this uh, this incarnation of evil that wants to eat your children or eat you if you're into that sort of thing. In some parts of Latin America, it's known as the sack man. It's this guy who snatches kids in, in a sack. In France, it's called the hand cruncher. In Belgium, it's the old red eyes. It's different everywhere and nobody knows what it is. What we do know is how to spot if you have one living under your bed. The tall tale signs are usually pretty obvious. Subtlety is not strong with this guy. The first one would be scratchings. Scratchings all over your floor, uh, the bed posts, uh, your pajamas, your bed sheets, uh, slippers, you name it, whatever. The second one would be a horrible stench coming from under your bed. Rule out natural causes first. Skepticism 101. You also have your bed shaking, your uh, growling from under the bed, red glowing eyes, like duh, and or a sense of deep unease. Okay, now that we know you've got one living under your bed, what to do not to get caught or eaten or whatever it does after it gets to you. Rule number one, no dangling feet. This is what you see. This is what it sees. If you must go to the bathroom, jump out of the bed. And of course, jump back on when you're done with your stuff. And as with everything else that goes bump in the night, the covers offer excellent protection for some reason. Who knew? So, how do you get rid of it? There's just one proven method to get rid of a monster under your bed. And it's simple in theory, but tough in practice. The only thing you need to do is that you need to be absolutely, entirely convinced that it's not there. Once you are undoubtedly, unmistakably, immovably sure that there's nothing under your bed, it will be gone. But a word of warning here, if you have the slightest shred of doubt, well, good luck. Like and subscribe. Bye.